How about this? Can you don't go down there, go around. Go around. Go around, go. the ball but I cannot play with you in, with the ball Baba okay so today I'm gonna redeem myself gonna make a smoothie again and see if I can press the blender because yesterday I tried to make a smoothie I tried to make a smoothie yesterday but it didn't turn out good since I cannot um, turn the blender on so I have avocado also, I have mango, and I don't want cinnamon because um, yesterday's cinnamon was not really good. Fun fact, I love avocado. I think that's the only fruit I eat. Maybe not, that's not a fact. One of the few fruits that I eat. So let's make avocado today. Oh five minute rule <laughs> so i had surgery thursday at eight o'clock in the morning and today is the officially one week after my surgery wow what a week it has been um this mango is from mexico and it's really good too it's like filipino mango another thing fun fact another thing i heard or i see it somewhere that in cuba there's a kind of mango there that they call it Philippine mango because it was so good and it came the ori it originally came from the Philippines normally in the Philippines we do it like this and then eat it since I'm gonna make it a smoothie then after this I'm going to take my Jabitis medicine because last night I was feeling so bad and um, oh I thought I had a stroke last night um, the reason why I had a surgery because all my life I was in pain during my menstruation during my period The surgery that I had is it's kind of hard for other women Because I guess you know, it's subjective other women loves kids But for me all my life since when I was younger. I really don't want kids so and I was in pain all the time during my period so I said, um, yeah, I'll go through with this surgery. Um, my surgery is called hysterectomy. And that's when the total, lap, total robotic laparoscopic hysterectomy, that's what they did. That's what mine is. So what they did was they put, they insert a tube in my belly button and then cut four holes on the side of my stomach. And then they inflate stomach to see all the organs that way they can see it clearly they do it the robotic way which the doctor or the surgeon she will do the surgery using a joystick it feels like and she will monitor she will do it on the other side she's not even watching you like right there she's just right there on a 3d 4d screen and then she'll do the surgery there and there's an assistant that while you're laying down i am in a in a general anesthesia which means i was sleeping the whole time and i didn't even know what was going on so it was really not that scary honestly because that's all i that's i really wanted that surgery um i had a problem since since i start my period i was hurting so bad every time i thought it was normal because every everybody said that you know it's normal to have pain during your period so I live with it and I guess I have a high pain tolerance because after my surgery I only take two pain medication because I can handle the pain and, and the pain was not so bad the menstrual pain was way worse than the pain after surgery probably because they put a lot of medicine there but anyways that's another thing I get tired so easy but anyways, um, that's my main deciding factor why I did this. What I why I decide hysterectomy because number one, 
I was in pain so much and number two there's no point of me keeping my uterus and my cervix and my fallopian tubes I still keep my ovary because ovaries is the one that produce hormones and they said when you don't have hormones you'll go cray cray so my doctor kept it since it was still it's still in good shape I think I don't know I don't I honestly don't know yet see my doctor after next Wednesday that's my pre-op two weeks pre-op appointment but yeah um so it went really well my surgery thank God I was praying so hard for it and now I'm just healing it's a bitch not to do anything but um yeah that's what I did I go wrong with the moment of the truth we'll see if I can turn on the blender See how it tastes though if it tastes good it's a winner mmm tastes like avocado I didn't add sugar too it's a win-win situation I'm just so grateful for my everyday here's before the dark comes so I'll see you again tomorrow on my next vlog bye